Here's an interesting thing. Um, I got a design patent and everyone had told me that a design patent was worthless after I'd already spent thousands of dollars to get it. Um, but that in my case was not true at all because the fact that I got a design patent meant that years later, I was able to get a registered trade dress on the product. And you can explain more in detail what that is. Um, that was much more, has proven to be much more valuable than my patent ever was. Right. And, 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 and that was interesting as I was kind of uh, finding out that because, you no, know, typically just as a patent attorney, you, you wouldn't suggest that or recommend to a client. Now, obviously, when you're talking about trade dress, that's uh, it's it's a subset of trademark. So it's it's extremely valuable in that, as you know, it lasts forever as long as you're using yeah. it. Uh, whereas a patent, whether it's a design patent, it only lasts 15 years. If it's a utility patent, it lasts 20 years. Uh, so it does have this expiration dates on the patents as opposed to a trade trade dress, which lasts forever. Uh, but so I guess going back to the original patent that you said you had, did you maybe eventually, I know you said you were figuring things out. Did that just, uh, eventually expire or did you, I, I, like, how did that, did, did it expire after the 20 years or did you let that go, go early? How did you kind of use that? Good question. Um, yes, it eventually did expire and I got, um, a patent agent, a wonderful patent agent. He's not an attorney. Um, he's the one who suggested that we file for the registered trade dress. Um, and, uh, he's, he was like a dog with a bone. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was not going to stop until we got it. And everybody told him you'll never get it, give it up, forget it. And that just, you know, lit a fire <laughs> under him. So between the two of us, uh, based on, you know, a lot of things that I had done through the years and, and what, and his expertise and getting it, um, we were able to secure the, the trade dress. And like you said, it's good forever. Right. <clears throat> so not only that, it's uncontestable in court. So, um, you, you know, you have to go through different steps to get that uncontestable status, but that is as good of an intellectual property as I could possibly ever get. And now I'm at the point where I want to license it. And now it's really, really valuable to a company like Disney or Mattel or whoever um, because of that. Oh, absolutely. No, you make a great point with that. And uh, yeah, no, for sure. And then I, it seems like with you having maybe done some stuff over the years, with the uh, Swiggies, uh, the rich water bottle, it helped out when it was time to uh, you know, file for a, a trade dress registration. So it seems like uh, that your efforts uh, over the years, when it was time to file for that trade dress, uh, it, it, it all paid dividends at that point, as opposed to maybe trying to file for a trade dress at the very beginning, which I, it seems like maybe would have been uh, a little bit more tougher to try to uh, secure. Right. 